haven't seen you in a few weeks. Yeah, it's been a couple yeah, weeks. Yeah, well, here's some shorts. Let's do a workout. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a, an excellent video that I'm going to cut that out. Um, starting over again. Uh, back in the gym with Cody after a little bit of a setback, and I think this is something that we can all relate to, where uh, life happens and we find ourselves weeks where we just haven't worked out. And Cody has had some really legitimate reasons for that. It has been a lack of motivation. Like, what happened? Tell us about this. Oh, I got snipped. I had a passing in the family, someone pretty close. So that was, you know, took some time and just kind of fell out of the rhythm, but mostly yeah. because of the, the snipping, the yeah. surgery, just that fear. It's like, okay, like one week, I felt pretty good, but do I wait? Yeah. Another week, and then after that, it just turned into three weeks. So, yeah, and yours was pretty major. Yeah, yours was unusually yes. bad. So, so then what happens? A person falls out of the rhythm, and then we have to get that that motivation back and the mojo. Yeah, totally, totally. And we want to do this in a fun way, and in a way that's not going to kill the guy so that he has to wait another week before he can work out. Right. After working out and training for this many years, I think I figured out a way to do this that's fun, effective, and uh, it'll get you back on track and get back into the rhythm. So, uh, well, you know, the first thing we should warm up. And, you know, like, have you done, you've been doing the five rights, right? No, so like, see, I love, I love the honesty. <laughs> I mean, this is, and you haven't changed your diet? No, no, like, no. And I think because we're we're still halfway through the twelve week program, yes. I still feel just as slim as when I stopped. Like I didn't go and just pack on a bunch of weight right. again. Like I think I don't know how that works, but yeah. I feel like the workout has kept that momentum has actually kept me from gaining the weight back on. So I think right. I'll still see some good results. Yeah, as we go. Well, and you haven't um, lost everything. You know, you haven't watched your fitness, but your muscles are a little bit, uh, they just haven't been exposed to the stress that True. the animals put on True. them. So we need to figure out a way to put that stress back on, get your endorphins going, get the testosterone going without making you so sore that you don't write right. about it right. for a long time. If I haven't done five rights for a while, uh, I'll just do 10 reps of each one. Okay. Then you get through it really quick, you get that feeling again. Who cares? We can work up to 21, maybe tomorrow. Okay. But for now, let's do the 10. Let's see how this is feeling. Okay. So we're going to do 10 spins. Okay. okay. Here we go. Okay, we're done. Okay, that was good. That's so that's good. good. It's just enough to kind of like, okay, that feels all right. Okay, now we're ready for the kettlebells. Now, here's the trick that I found works really well. We're gonna go back, we're gonna do the same routine, except we're gonna slow it down, and we're gonna use the same weight. If we use a light weight, we're gonna develop some bad habits. You're not gonna get that feeling, and the, the main thing, when you're getting back into exercising is we're just trying to prevent the accumulation of lactic acid. So the best way to do that is we're gonna do five reps per side, shake it out, take a little bit of a break. We're just getting back into it. 
five reps per side, then we'll, we'll just take breaks, we'll just take it easy, and we'll focus on perfect form. Okay, okay so we're gonna start, I'm gonna turn my watch this way, let's, and we'll time this workout, I bet you it won't be that much lower <coughs> than it was initially. Yeah. Can we just do the first one? Yeah. Well, we're gonna do all three. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Who knows? And we're really gonna focus on uh, form. And look at yourself on here, I'll be watching you. And we're not rushing through it, we're gonna go through. This is kind of like a warm up. Like at this stage of the game, you'll be really surprised. Yeah, no, I think it'll be decent for sure. Okay. I can't remember the first exercise. Here's to the first. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I didn't cheat and look at this. You know, I didn't cheat and be like, oh, I know the whole exercise. No, no, this is, this is authentic. This is so cool. Okay, so first we're gonna do five thrusters per set. Okay. Then we'll take a little break. Okay. Okay. So let's clean it. Perfect clean. Okay. Elbow in. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Nice and tight. Five thrusters. Here we go. I know you can squat deeper. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then elbow down. One, two, look at yourself, three, four, five. How'd that feel? Good, good. Okay, so now the next one's gonna be five clean presses per side. So when you're feeling good, we'll do that. You ready? Yeah. Boom, press. Consistency beats intensity every time. Oh, okay. I found that to be the case for sure. So even if you're you're just doing this like you do uh, level one, this chapter in the morning, and then say it's a Saturday, and later on you do level two, and then before bed level three, oh. you're still getting in the work, right? right? And you're still ingraining that behavior modification, right. that habit of exercising. Okay. And then you get on your roll and, and it's all, you'll naturally periodize your training if you stick with it. Because there's going to be times where you're just tired, so, right. but you're still going to do it. You're right. just going to do it a little bit slower. And then there's right. other times where you feel amazing and you're going to time it. Through. Through. You push through with little breaks. So, well, that's uh, maybe, that'll help me because then you're not, you, you know, I'm like, oh, I don't have to do it like he does all the time. Right. Even yep. if I just take a little more of a break, I don't have to feel guilty about it. Right. And then yep. maybe it takes me an extra 10 minutes to do a workout. Right. But who cares? And you're still doing it. We're training in the morning too. And that's another unique thing because we're not just doing it for pure fitness, but we're also doing it for uh, enhancing our energy and our motivation throughout the day. Right. So we're kind of using this as a tool to better our lives and more than just... Right being flexible and mobile, I mean, which is a nice side effect, but I think the morning training is crucial for moving into our lifestyles or improving right. our lifestyles. It's just in the morning, it's just, it's, a, it's symbolic. You right. do something so hard in the morning, uh, it makes the rest of your day seem easy. And press it. Here we go. Water. Yeah, there you go. One. Two, three, four, four, last one, five, down, nice and slow, okay, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, I feel it. 
Head over there. Took a little bit longer. Took 30 minutes. Right. And it was fun. Yeah. yeah. You know, we didn't we didn't stress out about the pace. Right. I feel I, I feel like I had a good workout out of the day. I feel like I had a good workout, but didn't torture myself. Yeah. Okay, so we did the workout. We're we're back. We're back on track. How do you feel? Well, honestly, Keith. <laughs> I was dreading it. So really? I was like, I was like, oh, I do not want to get in back into this. Yeah. He's, he's gonna literally torch me. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I appreciate you not doing that. What do you think? Do you think we should do like a shirtless uh, progress report for the people? We gotta do it for the people. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Oh wait, there's enough shirtless selfies on me on the internet. <laughs> Accountability at its finest. Look at his posture. Posture is much better. Um, slim, really slim into the waist. So three week layoff, we're back on track. And for everybody watching, thank you for watching. And if you're in a rut, let this, let this motivate you. Let this get you back on track. Just go do something, do a few swings, do something and you'll feel way better for it. I know that's the hardest thing in the world to do, but I, I, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. If I would have done just a little bit, yeah, yeah, let it motivate you. <laughs> I learned the same lesson over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a great day, everyone. Thank you.